Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to show you how to find the cube root or simplify a cube root using a factor tree. And uh, I actually think these are pretty fun. Let's start off with a fairly basic one. I'm going to first create a factor tree. I know that it ends in an even number, so I'm just going to use 2. 2 times 12 is 24. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And then uh, let's go with 2 times 6. Circle the 2. And then let's try 3 times 3. So now I have all of my prime numbers. Uh, actually, here's a mistake. Sorry, it's 2 times 3. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and place them under the cube root sign. You don't have to do this. I just think it's easier because you can visually see what you're doing. And I'm going to rewrite the numbers. I'll put a check there and a check here and a check there. And then I have a 3. So since you're working with cubes, you pull out uh, triplets. So I'm going to pull out th these, and it will be a 2. So I'm going to rewrite it. It will be 2. Make sure I'm still on here, barely. 2 cube root 3. So 24 simplified is 2 cube root 3. Let's work a couple more examples if that didn't make sense. Okay, how about the cube root of 54? I'm going to begin a factor tree. 2 times 27. You circle the 2 because it is prime. And now let's try 27 is 3 times 9. Circle the 3 because it is prime. And then 3 times 3. I don't think I made a mistake on this one. I'm pretty sure about this. So I'm going to rewrite them under the cube root. And that gives me 2, 3, 3, and 3. Okay, remember, since we have a cube root, we can pull out triplets. So I'm pulling out the triplets. And so it is now 3 cube root 2. Now, in order to check this to see... Yes, I'm still on. In order to check it, uh, it would be 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 2 is 54. So it does check out. Okay, let's work a couple more, please. Okay, now we have the cube root of 125. And if you know your cube roots, you know that this is a perfect cube. But let's work it anyway. Let's start with, uh, it ends in 5, so I'm going to begin with 5. And so that is 5 times 25. Circle the 5 because it is prime. And then 5 times 5 equals 25 and I'm down to prime numbers. So now, move it up just a hair. So now what I do is, you know, I'm going to write it under the cube root. 5, 5, 5. We have one triplet. Pull it out. So the cube root of 125 is 5. Okay. Final one, and it's a doozy. Okay, on this one, you may need to use a calculator. Uh, guys, I've got to confess, I went ahead and did this ahead of time, so uh, let's get started. Ends with 2, so I know I can use an even number, so I'm going to go 2 times 2,916. That's where I use the calculator to do this ahead of time. And then, if we go, this ends in an even number again. Let's go 2 times 1458. Circle the 2. Then, 2 times 7. 29, circle the 2, and then 3 times 243. We're getting a little closer. Okay, and then we have 3 times 81 equals 243. Again, you can just use a calculator, and then 3 times 27. I'll eventually get there. And then 3 times 9, and then 3 times 3. Okay, so I have a lot of numbers. You can barely see it. So now what we need to do is you need to be very careful here because here's where you can make your mistake. So I'm going to check each of them. I've got a 2. I've got a 2. I've got a 2. Okay. I've got a 3. A 3. A 3. And then a 3. 3. 3. So now I pull out the triplet, so I have a triplet of twos, so I'm going to write a two and a triplet of threes, 
and then a triplet of threes. I have nothing left under the cube root sign, so now I just multiply this. Two times three is six. Six times three equals 18. So the cube root of 5,832 is 18. And you can use a factor tree in order to get that. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.